Hey guys, so welcome back to another video with me. If you don't know, my name is Brooklyn. If you already know, hey boo. So today, um, well, I'm actually doing this the night before to, you know, prepare for the next day. So I'll be in a different outfit tomorrow. But I'm just basically prepping this wig that I got from Love Me. This is a 5x5 HD lace closure straight 24 inches. Hopefully I got that correct. If I did, I'm getting better with remembering the details. But this hair is so soft. Everything's smelling right, just like it's supposed to. So I'm just taking this foam piece out so I could show you guys the wig. It's five by five. So um, I will be installing this tomorrow, but I do have to bleach the knots. But for the most part, this is cute. You see? Ah, I'm so excited. I can't wait to install this. So if you want to see how I install and style this wig, stay tuned. Um, please like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you turn on your post notification bell. And leave me a comment of what other videos you would like. And just, what else? Make sure you that you follow me on Instagram. My personal Instagram is love is B. I'm trying to make it a little easier, so it's not something for you guys to try to remember. But here's my personal Instagram, and then my business Instagram, which is Queen Bee Slade Willie Rayer. So make sure you follow both my Instagram just to keep up to date with me. So without further ado, let's get into this video. Hey guys, so I will be doing voiceovers because I had things going on in the background. But I did want to come on here and say if you guys see a black box on my body, that's because I had a muscle shirt and I didn't have a bra underneath. So, you know, my chest were out. But this is me putting her cap on, um, putting her makeup shade. We were thinking about doing glueless, but she does like work an active job. So I put a thin layer of glue. Um, I didn't do layers because I wanted to make it easy when she takes it off. She didn't have much glue to clean whenever she takes it off. And then I'm just gonna adjust the wig and make sure it'll be tight enough for her. And then I'll come back. So as you guys can see, I already bleached and plucked her um, closure. In this clip, I'll be going around her tracks to just make sure I part out enough hair to cover the tracks and then deplacing her part in the middle. Um, you guys can let me know if you want um, videos where I talk during a video, like me actually talking while I do hair. Or do you guys prefer um, voiceovers? So just let me know in the comments. Hopefully y'all like this and it's not bad. I just didn't want to get copyrighted. Sorry. Love y'all. <laughs>
Okay, so now that I have the um, part in the back where the track is covered and I have the part center, I'm just gonna start cutting off the lace. So I wanted to get this part zoomed in because this is me cutting the lace. Usually I use surgical scissors which are really small so I could get as close as I can and go the way that I want to go. But this is me using bigger scissors and I'm still going in a zigzag motion. Do not cut straight across please. Just try to watch what I'm doing. Hopefully you guys can see and it's helpful. Okay, so now that I put the wig on and I cut it, I'm about to start flattening and sectioning this part out. So when I said that, I should have went into detail more, but I'm just going to take small sections from half of her hair and literally smoothing it out with a hot comb. I suggest doing this with hairspray or a wax stick just to help it lay flat and smooth out the roots. That's what I should have said, but that's what I'll be doing throughout this process right here. So my phone has started getting hot so I had to take it off the screen but uh, basically I just blow dry her hair. I just put heat protectant in it and I'm brushing it through. Um, I am about to begin doing some wand curls. Uh, I don't know the exact barrel that I use but I will have it on the screen. I purchased it from Amazon. Okay, so I finished the curls on majority of her hair. I just left a section out um, because I did want to try to do the fishtail, but I just wasn't feeling it. Um, I felt like I should have left more hair out for the fishtail braid, but you know, it's always live and you learn. Um, but this is me clipping her hair back right now to cut off um, part of the wig because the tracks went over her um her ears so I'm just cutting off that extra part of the wig and I did want to just say I still have yet to do anything to her lace now usually when you get a HD lace you usually don't have to put makeup but there are times where you might have to add makeup over top um that's just what happens with lace um so this is me um gluing it down and also HD lace for people who don't know about lace it's a fabric uh, I would just say you know do your research but HD is a thin piece of fabric um, so yeah I won't get into that because you know I'm not an expert but just do your research okay so I'm laying the wig down like I said I only put one thin layer um, and then I went back for pieces that like where glue wasn't and I just put some glue but I also put a little extra glue to kind of like use the comb to roll the edges because I like for my lace to be like frayed when I do the zigzag so um it's kind of hard to explain but that's that um for some reason y'all notice it towards like from here on out but the lace looks like it just doesn't match in person it legit was perfect 
but I did go in and add makeup because on camera it did look super light but you guys will see the pictures and videos okay so I left this clip in there um because you know sometimes don't air you go through trial and error like I had a vision but I couldn't succeed but the end result I still loved uh, turned out perfect but this is me doing a fishtail braid and I actually should have left hair out in front of the fishtail braid I just it just didn't turn out how I wanted it to but I did leave it in there so you guys could see you know my mistake and how I went back took it out and you know just made it my own oh and I know y'all probably thinking like why hasn't she did the lace or anything yet I just saved that for like last minute um but yeah we're getting to that point I just don't want y'all to think like oh I'm about to be done okay so she already has like her makeup shade and as you can see like i'm using the darkest one in this shade and it's still looking light on camera and like literally okay right you're about to see in a second but i have a way darker shade that's for dark skin people that i put on her lace okay look you guys about to see it okay right here this is nowhere near her shade and I put that on the lace and nothing was still happening so I just don't know but you guys will see the pictures and stuff okay so this is me you know putting makeup on a part and gonna be black spraying it and then I went to go fix the part and I just already wasn't feeling the fish tail braid so after I already had to the part I just decided to take the fish tail braid out um so that's what you guys are seeing in this clip So at this point, I still wasn't understanding how in person you couldn't see the lace with that on camera. It was super light. So this is me spraying it with hairspray and tying it down to see if that would kind of help melt the lace. So you see I removed the band and you know it still didn't help so this is me you know just combing out the curls and trust me you will see the end product that is not how the lace looks in person none of my videos ever had filters or anything on them so you know just stay tuned for the final product trust me.
So I just want to say thank you for watching my YouTube channel. Please like, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to follow my social media. Have a great day. Thank you.